Hi there, welcome to Sibish Passion. In this video, we are just going to see some cool new refactoring and text editor options available in VS 2017. So here is our agenda for this video. Few captions and refactoring, find all reference, go to go, the brand new go to menus, the brand new completion box while typing the code, filtering to subsets and solve, added items in option menus, uh, that is a split strings from Ento, completion list delayed behavior. So for this video, I had already created a demo. Let's just uh, dive into that. Here in the solution, I had uh, already created a class refactor demo. So the first thing uh, you you already noticed would be uh, there is a uh, dotted lines available in each block of the code. Let's say uh, let's say uh, for a class or a method for or an namespace. So if you just hover over this dotted line, you can get the information uh, where exactly the name namespace and what namespace is available for that class and all all kind of information you'll be getting. Now uh, to start the refactor demo, uh, this is the demo number one. And uh, when you see, uh, could you able to see a three dotted uh, line under new keyword? So okay, uh, let's uh, just go and see what is the suggestions uh, suggestion of VS 2017 is giving for that particular code block. Okay, when I just click on this new keyword here, uh, we get the quick actions that is a yellow color bulb, and if you go to that, uh, VS 2017 is uh, providing me an information like uh, this can be simplified in object uh, object creation way. That is, object initialization can be simplified. So the suggestion is. This is my old code and this can be changed as this way. So when I just accept this by clicking this, the code block will be changed in this way. This, this is uh, pretty much good than the uh, before one, right? So that's all about the de refractor demo number one. And let's just go to the second demo. For the second demo, second demo, uh, I have a long, string here uh, this is just uh, welcome to this event i'm so happy to see you here i hope you like this event it would be great if you can share some feedback will you do that i hope you will do that okay uh, so uh, for concatenating this string a uh, vs2017 team has provided any an option it's available in tools option advanced uh, no uh, before that Go to the text editor under C sharp, go to advanced, split string literals on ender. Just enable this feature and uh, the, you, are going to, you are going to love this feature actually. It's pretty much simple but still uh, I hope you like this. Click OK. Now I'm just clicking ender on this space. Boom. It got concatenated, right? Okay, for this feature, you, you should enable that split string, uh, string on enter in that option tool menu. Okay, this is the second uh, refractor demo. And now the third one comes. I'm just clicking on this line. I'm not getting any suggestion, but wait. Go to this space. Here we go. We are getting a suggestion, right? What it is? This string can be converted to inter interpolated string in this way. So, as you all know, the interpolated string has been introduced with the switch up six, and I'm gonna go and use that by just clicking that, by just accepting that feature. My line of code has been changed to interpolated string, right? So that's number three. Now go to my customer dot CS file have to uh, under this namespace I have two classes one is cl customer and one is consumer so uh, when I just click on this consumer class I'm getting any again a suggestions like move type to cons consumer dot CS what this will do is it will just create a new file in your solution with this feature with the same class name and all just let's just go and see that I'm just accepting it here by clicking boom 
those codes are not available in this con customer class again but wait just go to solution explorer you will see a new file has been added that is a new class file has been added to your solution like this is what we had in consumer customer class right this is number four wait okay here i have a file name which is named as sup.cs but inside of that file name i have a class name class with the name supplier what suggestion will vs2017 will give me is when i click on the supplier i have two options either i can rename a file to supplier.cs or rename a type to sub so i'm just gonna go and click the first option rename a file to supplier.cs that's cool now sup.cs is changed to supplier.cs that's number four and again go to the refractor demo now i'm going to go and create an object for ob equal to sorry new c when i type c i'm getting a lot of options in completion box right this is the completion box it's pretty much huge so vs2017 team has provided me an option to subset those filtered or subset or uh, filter these items so let's go and do that i can always uh, filter by interfaces or classes or structures enums delegates namespace and so on so you can always create uh, if you are that hacky person you can always use the keyboard like alt i for interface alt c for classes so i'm going to click alt c for classes so uh, we have selected a class over here and i'm going to go and type customer so i'm getting only the class right so uh, the new completion box have the provision to subset all the information as uh, the completion box items uh, may be huge for some scenarios right okay when i type v i'm getting was suggestion right i'm gonna go and use obj equal to new but here when i type v i'm not getting a was suggestions but because it doesn't mean it doesn't make any sense like uh, we are going to create an object of that keyword right var is a keyword and you can always create an object of a class right so i'm getting a value type class here so completion box have that features too that's cool right okay now i'm gonna go and create another object of customer class new cus then uh, in any case any ca any chain any case uh, if you just if you just click that escape button in the keyboard what will happen this completion box will will be vanished or will be go away right i'm just gonna go click and escape button it's gone now how can we just uh, get this completion box again either you will have to delete everything or uh, you may need to uh, press the control space or you may need to uh, create or type the cust cust again right for this feature uh, we, what we can do is when we use 2017 we can always get the completion box items even if you are pressing delete or backspace button so for that you will have to enable an option in tools menu tools option go to text editor c sharp intelligence just enable show completion list after a character is deleted i have enabled this feature and let's just go and see this okay now i'm going to create an object again c u s t and i'm clicking that i'm just pressing that escape button now i'm pressing 
backspace button. Still, I'm getting that completion box. You have this feature in uh, text editor options in uh, tool menu, right? Okay. Now we have a customer class here and I'm going to go and find where where are all the where exactly I have used this customer references, right? I'm going to go and click right click find all reference. I'm getting all the customer references here. These options are available in the prior versions of Visual Studio, but still there are some improvements that I like very much. The one thing is you will get all the information here that's not new, but the color coding is you can get the information in the same color what the code looks like. Let's say I'm clicking over here and I'm getting private static list of customer LST cust. If you noticed, I'm getting the same color here too, right? That's but that's absolutely new in VS 2017. And in VS 2017, we can always specify the scope of the references, where exactly we need to search for that reference. We can give that manually, like NDA solution, open documents, current document, current project, and, and so on. And these three buttons are always there in prior version of Visual Studio, but remaining everything is new. We can always group by definition only, project then definition and so on. You have that capability here. And what this button, button will do? Any idea? Okay, uh, we'll just have a quick demo for that. Now, I have a result for customer references here. Now, what will happen if I'm searching for an another object references? Let's go and see that. I'm going to go and click the reference for LST CUST find all references. Here I get the information related to LST because I'm getting the reference for that list object. But what happens to the, the previous one I had? It's gone, right? For that, VS 2017 team has provided an option like keep result. If you just click this keep result and now if you again go and find the, find the reference for customer, it will actually give you two tabs. One is for customer reference and one is for list customer reference. So you have that provision for uh, finding the reference for multiple objects in the same way with in a condition like you will get all the information in a reference menu. Like uh, you'll get the tabs for multiple references. This is absolutely new in VS 2017 and this is a cool new feature. Okay, go to menus are always there in a prior version of Visual Studio. But what what is new in Visual Studio is the team has clubbed every go to options in a go to menu under edit. As of now, I'm just going to uh, we have an option uh, like uh, go to line, go to all, go to file, and so on. I'm going to go and click go to all. You can always do this by clicking Ctrl T. We have uh, so many options like uh, go to line, go to file, go to type, go to member, go to symbols and so on. And you can always type what exactly you wanted here. Right? The moment you type, um, instantly right away, I mean instantly uh, there in that file. Right? When I type CUST, I'm instantly there in the customer class, right? You can always uh, get the help. How can you just search for this members, files, or line number? Just type question mark. You will get colon for line, question mark for show this slide. That that's what we just did. F for files, M for members, T dot types, and I'm gonna go and find files, right? I, I'm, I'm looking for a, my customer class F slash. Now you can see that the file menu has been selected now. F span. 
space cust so this is my customer class right i'm instantly there in my customer class and if you if you're going for a line you will get the feedback instantly please enter a line number between 1 and 84 so if you are uh, selecting a line number 100 will not found that because you you we have, the team has already given me an information like uh, the line number is between 1 and 84 right I hope you love, love these features which is available in VS2017. Uh, just go and grab your copy and uh, find yourself these things. Uh, it's, I can uh, definitely recommend you to try this out. This is a Visual Studio 2017 is much better tool than the others. I really love these features. Uh, I hope you li uh, like this video. Uh, please do subscribe if you can. Uh, thank you so much for watching.